You call that a gun? This, this is a gun. Welcome back to Sunless Sea. Well, hello everyone, and here we are again. We've been travelling backwards and forwards between Vendabite and London, making a bit of money. We have 243 echoes now. And now it's time to spend it. So, let's pop over to the shipyard. Let's pop over to the shops, in fact, and let's see what we can get. Now, I want some more weaponry, but I would also like to pick up this um, this telescope, this wither and optical, which will give us plus one mirrors, which is a bit expensive for 100 echo, but still, every little helps. And yes, and these guys sell some interesting weapons that we can't afford, but we can pick up some of these. So if we have a quick look at the ship, we have a gun already mounted here, but we have space on the deck, we have space in the bridge, we have space in the auxiliary, and we have space in aft. So with that in mind, let's have a look at these uh, these weapons again. So these are these equip to well, this one equips to forward, this one equips to forward. Though we already have something there, we. Torpedo, torpedo nets. This one equips to deck. And this would give us 10 iron, but it's going to take most of our money. And this one equips to forward. This one equips to forward. We're not finding that many options, are we? This one equips to forward, forward, deck. Uh, it's out of our financial range. Okay, so. As it comes to weaponry really the only choice we have is this one but quite frankly a little extra iron is going to help us here so let's pick up one of those and then just have a quick look at our hold there we go and our iron is now 43 just check that 33 43 we are now far more fearsome, fearsome engine Probably do some more running backwards and forwards to Vendabyte to make some money, unless we, uh, a better trade route um, shows itself, but I'm glad we got that now. Still have 43 Echo. So, what do we have? Let's just have a quick look in London before we head off. All right, we can't get to the university because we still need a secret. We have plenty crew, and there's no new recruits coming. All right, I think it is time for us to set off. Today we are going to go up to Vendabyte quickly. We're going to come back down and visit the young ladies because I have recent news and I want to see what that unlocks with them. And then I think what we'll do is we'll head east a little bit and see what we can find close by. So, without further ado, let's go. Now we've had some talk on the uh, the, the the comments recently about uh, how to reduce terror, and there is only really one way to reduce terror, and that's to stay in sight of. Well, okay, there's two ways to reduce terror. There's three. No, no there's only two ways. There's, there's stay within sight of land, stay where somebody somewhere you're familiar with, or try to stay in lit areas. And both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. Lit areas have dark areas in between them, and if you think, if we were to stay in the sight of land, we'd actually have to go around there, as opposed to straight across, which is going to eat into our food. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's a good idea, and it's, it's going to be very useful when going across chains of islands and things like that. But at the moment, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to navigate via these lights as much as possible. Because that's as you can see stops terror from increasing but as soon as we go into the dark as we will in a second terror will start appearing there in a moment there we go you see terror is starting to increase luminescent beasts like iron eyeless dolphins play in your wake mm. Oh, here we go. Here's a bit of light for us. This will make everyone feel a bit better. There we go. And here come the bats. 
Here come their friends. Here come their friends, friends. Let's just pretend they don't, we don't see them. Perhaps they don't see us. What's the chances, do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, well, these are fairly easy to defeat now. It's going to be interesting to see how much more damage we do with our extra guns. We didn't need to do that second illumination, to be honest with you. But never mind. Yeah. Not often we take them out in one blow, so I think that's improvement. And into the pot with you. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Horrors below. Zaylers at the row call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says, his voice a tremble. We can call them away, or we can bring out the nets. It is a chancy challenge, but 50-50? I'll take 50-50. What is it? It comes dripping from the sea, sleek as a seal, but its eyes are faceted. One zailer covers his ears. I swear, he says afterwards, I heard it scream like a woman. Right, we gained terror, we gained a strange catch, and we succeeded in an iron challenge. Yay. And here come the bats. Off we go. That's enough, we don't need one of those. And there we go. The one thing bats are not anymore is a challenge. What they are also not is a change in the diet. Right, let's get ourselves into vendor bite, do our business there. See if we can do it before those bats catch up with us. Yeah, I think they're getting bored. So, quick stop at Vendorbite. Well, there are still some random encounters there that I would like to pick up. Um, we'll, we'll sell off some stuff, make a little bit more money, and we'll head to, what's it called, Huntsman's Peak, and uh, have a chat with the ladies. Green glass and basalt, salt and silence. Here we are again at the tomb colony. Okay, so before we go in there, let us sell off our tomb colonists. Let's re, re uh, energized our account slightly and let's have a quick look inside the town. We can explore the town, we can gather gossip. If we gather gossip, um, nothing special there, but it gives us another, um, I think it's five echoes when we get back to London, so that doesn't hurt. Let's explore Vendorbite. Monumental Ruins. The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neath wall stone, carved with blank-eyed, unsmiling faces, and blocky, stoic super serpents. We can have a picnic, or we can search warily. Alright, the picnic will cost us supplies. Creepers climb the shattered period. An owl blinks at you from an idol's mouth. In the undergrowth, a cave littered munches decorously on a white cricket. This place seems peaceful. Rest a while. I'm willing to bet that that will uh, lower terror. Whereas this one is probably going to give us a chance of gaining an item. And Our terror is not very high. Let's see if we can gain an item. A treasure! You're not far from the first to come here. You're not... Actually, let's try that again. You're not the first to come here. Someone's left a long oak casket under a carpet of creepers. We've gained a cache of curiosities. Right, let's open it up, shall we? Okay, we gain supplies. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that could have been better, but then again, it wasn't worse. So, hard tack in water and an unexpected box of nails. A would-be wit remarks that the nails look tastier than the hard tack, until an officer's glare silences her. Oh, well, that's all we can do there. So, let us set sail. And deliver our news, which is the next thing I want to do today. And then I'm hoping we will have enough time to go and do some exploring as well. We should do actually, these are 30 minute episodes now instead of 20, which gives us plenty of time to do lots of stuff. And, and I'd appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think about the new episode format. 30 minutes good? 30 minutes not so good? For God's sake, feed them something other than bat. Anything, you know, any comments you'd like to make, please do let me know. I'm always happy to hear them. And as we started talking about it here before, what's your opinion of the latest Doctor? I must admit, I quite like him. Didn't think I was going to. Never liked the new Doctor, but I like this one. Okay, how do that? Yeah, 50. Don't need that one. There we go. Hmm. We didn't kill this one in one blow. Good lord. Right, into the pots. There we go. These lighthouses do an awful lot to allay uh, terror as well. But you have to get them at the right time. And as they're rotating, they're not very helpful. Let's chance fate. Let's see if we get 50 this time. And of course, that was the time we don't. Of course. I think the game can tell when you're being cocky. Ooh, scary eyes. There we go. Another set done. Our level of resources are getting high. I th think I might start selling those off, or if we take some damage, use them for repairs. More bats. Hmm. I must admit this is the one thing that has frustrated me about this game. In general I've loved it, but the combat gets a bit repetitious and the number of creatures in it is very slim. But still, I love this game. It's a great game. And once again. I asked a few episodes ago if anyone wanted me to replace Squeakers. Nobody has said that they want me to replace Squeakers, so Squeakers stays. Mm, this guy is not very good compared to the other officers, is he? He may just have to go into the pot. Make a change from that. It's our friends, the bats. Right. Well, if you want to ignore us, we're happy to ignore you. Because we're off to Hunter's Keep. Okay. Oh. 
We're waiting for something awaits you underneath. I thought that that's quite often said. Let's reconnoitre the Iton Island. Okay. And as we're here... Unlike uh, when... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Let's have lunch with one of the sisters. Let's do Lucy. Let's have lunch with Lucy, rather. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in the attic and the butler in the vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. So we gain supplies, we've lost some hunger, we are acquainted with the Sisters of Hunker's Keep, and we've lost 10 terror, which is not bad. Okay. Yes, that is enough. We weren't after news, we were after the lack of news. So here we can do news news. We are acquainted with the sisters and nothing awaits you. Time to leave port. Let's go. Knock and wait. You ask the sulphur-eyed mage to carry a few bits of your news to, sisters, to the sisters. Oddly enough, she comes back with a message that her headaches are cured and you are invited to lunch. Okay. We can have lunch with them again. I don't think we will. There's no real need for us to do so, but that was interesting. We now know how to reset them, which is good. There wasn't any shops or anything on here, is there? No. Okay, my plan now is to go east. We've still got, what, about 13 minutes of this episode left, so let's see what we can see. Ooh. Ooh. A recurring nightmare. Watched. The sea is bright as milk. Full stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze enfolds your boat. You are as transparent as glass. Right, we can go deeper into the nightmare. We can confront the nightmare. We can flee the nightmare. All of them are tricky. A 9% chance. A 9% chance. A 19% chance. Right, so we can go deeper. Okay, if we go deeper into the nightmare, we have a chance to confront it. We are deep enough in to confront it. Uh, if we fail, we'll suffer considerable terror. If we flee, we have a chance to reduce the nightmare strength. I think, to be totally honest with you, we need to flee it at this point. Okay, the eye's attraction is magnetic, gravitic, compelling. You fall into a dreaming, Eva reverie. To be known, to be known. But waking rescues you, for now. Right, we failed that, and we've gained a chunk of terror. And we've lost a restful night, and we've lost some nightmare strength. I think we're going to have to invest in some restful nights if we're going to beat this. Never mind. We're moving on for now, and heading east. Let's see what we can see. Or indeed, see what we can see. And at the moment, it's a whole lot of nothing. What's this? Lights. Terror saving lights. Shepherd Wash. The salty hinterland of London, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. Where is that from where we are? Not quite seeing it. Let's keep on looking. That looks like there's something new there. Laughter from the foredeck. Ooh. Something big over there looking for us. 
Oh, there's some more lights here. I think that guy is swimming faster than us. He may well catch us. Are we seeing anything new? No, I think I'm going to turn south. See what those islands are there. May have to deal with this crab while doing it, but... What the hey? It's got to taste better than bat, hasn't it? Oh, he's got his speedy... Oh, no. Discovered Thornwell Croft. Oh, that's Thornwell Croft. Let's go and say hello. Are you going to come and attack us, or are you stuck on that? Yes, you were stuck on that bit of shallow water there, weren't you? Don't think it's going to help us. Good lord. The angler clam attacks. We long hypothesized from, its, from the still glimmering corpse of this vast decapod, which guided itself as a distant light to lure its play close. We discovered eventually that it simply pursues its prey across the Z with happy zeal. It evinces also a regrettable turn of speed. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Chuck a couple of illumination across first. Let's see how we're going. Okay, that's not quite enough. But that's also not quite enough. Okay, let's just chuck an evade in. And then I'm going to do a shot. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Let's do another illumination. I think we're going to have to bring out the big guns here, guys. So what we'll try to do is mix. Reducing our illumination, which we didn't do that much, really, did we? With um, attacking them. That should help. There we go. What's this? Submerge. Dramatically reduces illumination. Uh, it's not good for us. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll do two of those again. As long as it's doing things like that, it's not trying to kill us. And as long as it's not trying to kill us, we can try to kill it. What's this? Appalling cry. This is going to do terror, isn't it? Yes, thought so. Uh, two extra terror. 75. Right, okay. Let's evade, illuminate, shoot. And evade again. Terror attacks aren't so important. <sighs> I mean, yes, they are difficult in the long run, but we're not going that far. Um, what worries me is that there's attacks floating around that will quite merrily destroy our crew. And that becomes quite definitely a problem quite quickly. Right, I think we should be able to break that one. Not quite enough. Okay. Right, so we're back to illuminating again. Actually, what the hey? Given the amount of, uh, yeah, given the amount that we need to illuminate here, if we can get that over 50, we can get over 50. Let's just shoot the thing. It's only got 20 life left, we should be able to do it. And I think we've come out of this relatively unscathed, apart from a lot of terror, but we were fairly terrified to start off with. Not too bad. Okay, we didn't re we didn't record any observations. We can dissect it, or we can butcher it for supplies and other oddities. Let's let's dissect it. We failed, but we gained a hunting trophy. Well, its blood glows and it's terrible, terribly gooey. Uh, fascinating. Okay, we got a hunting trophy. We got fragments. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Let's get out of the way before we have to fight this one. Actually, let's get out of the way a little bit faster before we have to fight this one. Yes, our terror is getting a little bit too high again. There we go. Station 3. 
Okay, what can we do here? Machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire. But the lamps are low and they burn it... Uh, and where the but the lamps are low where they burn at all and your ship is only the only one in the harbor we can look up uh, we can look use the telescope we can deliver a long box which we don't have we can try the gate because we don't have a, a long box and we can search for signs of other visitors start with this one shall we all right church or something else. You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There is a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. Right, we have a port report. That's good, that increases our um, reputation with the uh, Admiralty. Right, let's search for signs of other visitors. Stacked near the, the stairs are a pile of worn out tools, tongs whose hinges have given way, a hammer whose head is coming loose from its hearth, an anvil whose surface is marred, amazed with deep cracks. Right, we've gained ten fragments. I don't think we ever really consistently learned anything there, but we gained ten fragments, so that's good enough. Let's try the gate. No way in. The metal is still hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's guns to bear. But no. Okay, we need a certain delivery to get in, it would appear. Let's see, have we got anything available here? Nothing, nothing, okay. We have a secret now. Hmm. Now, we can spend that secret to raise our reputation well we can spend that secret to talk to one of our crew to gain some stats or we can take that secret back to london and get in at the university and i think to be honest with you i want to get in at the university we'll hold out for a second secret before talking to our crew okay that's we need to move on I think what we're going to do is we're going to go southwest down to Thornwell Croft, Flitterstone something or other, west of Gren's Fire, and then we'll go back to London that way. We've explored a chunk, and yeah, we've learned a bit more about the world, but we're going to have to do it next time, I'm afraid. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I certainly have. We've done a lot of sailing. We've fought something new. And we've learned a few secrets. So I hope you, you'll enjoy this. Please give me a like if you have. Um, subscribe if you want to. I've been Simon Parsons. And this has been Sun to Sea. Thank you. And good night. <laughs>